Well, your content, uh, watching, well, going back to kind of algorithm, but the AI based stuff on uh, Gemini and watching how it was yeah. based. So I didn't know it was going off of Reddit. And then once you said that, I was like, this makes so much fucking sense. <laughs> Because it was sourcing Reddit as one of the... Well, that's where they corner. got the biggest deal from, right? Like, Gemini made, like, the... I think it was, like, a $70 million deal with, like, Google. Like, Reddit and Google are now buddy-buddy, and they're... Every time you make a so, fucking post... Well, Gemini is Google-based, right? Gemini oh, is, is this, Google. Is this yeah. the no-white people thing? Yeah, the yeah. Google Gemini AI, where it was, like, um, draw me a Nazi, and then it would make, like, you know, me wearing the swastika. <laughs> so, you know, I would have... Well, to I be would, fair... <laughs> You wearing the swastika would mean something very different historically. No, no, I'm talking about like a swastika like rotated a little bit 45 oh, degrees. With that's arrows pointing, pointing up. Yeah, yeah that's when it was fucked up. <laughs> the, the windmill of friendship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wind, windmill of friendship goes into like hatred real fucking quick. It, it, like, dude, I was cracking up. She was like, show me a Viking. It's like four black Vikings. And you were just like, just going, just questioning this. I'm like, <laughs> like, like, look, I get it. I get the understanding of like, so the way that the AI works, it's like they probably added like a diversity clause to it or something, right? Because it's like when you're generating like make an image in Times Square. There's probably different races everywhere in Times Square. You take a photo of Times Square right now, you're going to find a lots of me's and you's and everyone, right? <coughs> but there's a big difference between draw me an image of Times Square in 2024 and the Vikings from back in the <laughs> olden days. Because like I literally have to like go, like I went like it's a shame that I have to go to Google and like look up the Vikings. I'm like, boy, boys, they're from like modern day Denmark. Okay, the last I checked, my people were not piloting ships to that north. Like we were, we were like, that's too fucking cold for us. Okay, I don't care how much they like piracy. We don't. That's too cold for us. <laughs> You're becoming one of the favorite uh, guests right now. Well, like, well, like, I we, wasn't we, prepared. For well, that. like, well, like, we were one of the people behind like the compass and sundial, so we're like, go, go south. That's warmer, you know. <laughs> Works for us. Uh, it was. If you haven't read it, made a lot of sense. So the second you said, it's like, it's based. It's using Reddit as its like learning algorithm. And mm. You're like, oh, this makes way more sense when it kicks back certain stuff because you're like. Uh, what's like, is Barack Obama black? And it'd be like, yes, and this. And then you ask, was it George Washington or who? who well, else? it's like, is George Washington white? It's like, well, George Washington had like a weird biracial angle. And, a, and then it started like sourcing like his, his kids. Kid. And I was like, wasn't maybe, it his like adopted yeah, kid? Yeah, like his adopted kid. Maybe they might have went it. But I'm like, last I checked, like the founding fathers, like they were pretty white. Yeah, yeah that's pretty white as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what it wasn't until 300 years they were like, all right, we can add like another Now, Thomas back. Jefferson. Yeah, you know, his bloodline gets a little muddy, yeah. but crossing the Delaware with Mexican, <laughs> that is a completely different photo. Yeah. I, 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 I really, I really want to see the AI generated George Washington crossing the Rio Grande. <laughs> yeah, that's like, we we got to get to the yeah. border, boys. <laughs> and that's like the the, 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 the whole Antonio. AI generation, right? It's like it just generates like all the diverse like thing and races for like, and that's where like. You know, when you're pro, like, what people don't get about, like, the AI stuff is it's not, like, you know, AI from, like, a sci-fi show. It's, like, you feed it a bunch of data, and you get a bunch of programmers that write how that data is supposed to be processed. So if you add, like, those diversity clauses, awesome. you're going to have funny jokes like that, right? And I understand why, like, Google turns it off, and they're like, okay, let's cook this for another six months until we get rid of some of the <laughs> stupidest shit, and then we can come back. Because the first like, one you brought up, it was back in, what? 2015 16, the AI in, uh, image generation where it was like glumping photos together of like. Oh, the, the, so the Google photos, and for people who need to know this, it's like this is how wild it was. If you were like, you know, an African American like couple, right? And you took a photo of yourself and you're like, damn, this is really fucking cute. You upload it to Google Photos. There could be a chance, like years later, you open up that app and it's like, oh shit, when did I go see Gorillas of the Zoo? That's when you find out it's just me. They, they started. It would tag you as gorillas. Like yeah, it would tag black people as gorillas. Yeah, yeah. That's, so 2016. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You oh didn't my know this. God. Yeah. No, I, I did so not. So it was just the black community. Yeah. And Google was like, "Got it. The, you here. You're in this sector of photos now." And then like, "Yo, yo, yo. What the 
fuck is going on. So they, that's why they turned off AI based image. Yeah, that's how like well, the AI. There's also yeah, like it was like, it was like human <laughs> gorilla, and if I took a photo, it's like call center. Like it would start doing that. You know, it's like that's how it would picked you. Because how I, I, I think know you've done some stuff with uh, like uh, internet historian, right? Uh huh. It was his video about Tay, like the AI Microsoft. I think it was Tay, the AI. Uh, yeah, the way it went like bot. crazy in 24 hours. Went from oh, like wholesome yeah. posting to like because like 4chan yeah. and Re- uh, like 4chan got a hold of it, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden it was just oh my god. That hey, was what, what would happen is it's like, oh, how's the weather? Like at 8 a.m. and then like literally 24 hours later, it's like, so about that Fourth Reich, boys, let's get that <laughs> fucking going. <laughs> how's the weather? Yeah. Scratch that. <laughs> I got more important things to worry about. Yeah. Weather. Yeah, all of a sudden, it's like, wow, it's beautiful to see technology advancing in this way. How are you? If you had five ovens in four years and you had to bake six million cookies, it's like, holy shit. <laughs> Just take it. Take it. Mm. Pull the <laughs> yeah, it's like Microsoft jumps in. It's like, all right, we, we probably. And it's one of those things where it's like, I bet it's like a wholesome group of engineers. It's like, I bet you nothing can go wrong. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> they high five afterwards. Like, they, let's they, do they it. Nah, nah, this is a around. group of en- engineers. You know, there were like half of them that are like, bro, this is going to go fucking off the rails. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's gonna get fucking wild. Maybe that's what they did with the Google stuff. They had like a few guys who were like, "This is gonna be fucking meme material in the next twenty four hours." Let's, and then they got the call from head office. They're like, "All right, you gotta cut this shit off. Fun times over, pull boys." The, pull the plug. Pull the fucking plug right now. Pull the plug. <laughs> and, that, and that was the end of it. No, was it, dude? I refuse to believe there's anybody working at these companies. Like, bro, if I was working at Google, you know who I'd hire? I'd hire like the quality assurance check for like. The most obscene material. I'd have somebody working prompts every day. I'm like, I want you to type in the most obscenely racist shit and see if like our thing makes that so we don't look bad in front of the public. So right? to our like, audience, you have a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're hiring for? <laughs> no, there, no, for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, there's a job opening for you. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the way you guys get around the sensors. It's like, no, I finally know how to become a contractor now. <laughs> hey, I got this like, now. All right, type in the most obscenely racist shit. And I'm like, mm. it's like, I am ready for this. Like, you're, my, you're, you're, you're literally, literally you're Cody's floating already. Yeah, yeah. Just, he's ascending to the next plane of employment. <laughs> I know what to do when YouTube shits me out. Okay. So I can make a lot of money doing this. Bro. Wait, we need N1. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you open a nice bottle of wine. It's like, all right, it's time to start the evening. <laughs> race the I just need to relax, babe. Leave me alone. <laughs> Someone bring me down. <laughs> <laughs> Licking them fingertips. <laughs> Dude, I, Dude, but you know what? So it's so wild. It's like there's going to be once this stuff goes like super open source and everyone gets their hands on the code. Could you just imagine like actual like really fucked up people getting their hands on it and like using it to like the worst advantage? Like I I am. Uh, it's going to be a few years <clears throat> before it happens, but I think it's going to get like way worse. Like we're memeing about it right now, but I think there's going to be like genuinely fucked up dudes that are going to be generating some really fucked up shit over through Because it's, like, I don't know if you guys saw, like, the, the new Sora open AI stuff, like those really yeah. good videos. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Dude. The dogs in snow. Bro, that was literally the one I used earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, just, I just pictured the beginning of T2. <laughs> it's the robots walking, and they're just <laughs> yelling the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, the robots are there. just killing people, yelling the N-word, like, like, AI, AI took over. <laughs> it's like, this is all that happened. Oh, God. <laughs> but nobody knows about it because all of the censors for all news outlets have the N-word <laughs> blocked. So they're yeah. able to eliminate half the few, the human population before anyone knows about it. These racist you know, robots are killing you know, it's, it's wild because like, there used to be like this old game, like 2001 Metal Gear Solid 2, bro. That shit predicted the future. We live in like AI feeds and algorithms. Mm. Like, dude... Every time you open your app, it's like, the, the this is the thing, that I don't open up news anymore because it's like every time I open it up, it's like a curated feed. So like I always try to like open up 20 different sources to get like, any, like anytime a world event happens, I'm like, check every single search engine for everything different because like, it's there's gonna differ drastically. So a fellow yeah. DuckDuckGo user. A fellow DuckDuck. I mean, hey, man, I'm in, one of my biggest things was deep web browsing. You bet your ass I'm a DuckDuckGo kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I didn't even think Metal Gear Solid 2 was like forefront of like, hey, this is going to be an issue. Kojima was like, here you go. 
you have just touched his tism oh, yeah. in a way that we can't put back in the box. Dude, leave it to like some Japanese game developer to like predict the fucking future like 20 years in advance. Crazy this is in 2003. He said like yeah. AI is going to be an issue. And when it went off the rails in that, like it starts speaking randomly through using other people. It has fucking face generated AI. I forgot about that. Remember the codec because it's the kernel's AI. Yeah, based. yeah, yeah. In the Holy second game, shit. yeah, all of it is like actual real time, like human generated faces. So like even videos yeah. and shit like that. And who is it? Uh, <laughs> thanks, Kojima. <laughs> Thank you, Kojima. What the fuck? Who was the guy who wrote, wrote uh, Dune? Is it Frank Herbert? Frank Herbert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was uh, predicting computers would take over all of basically all of everything yeah, in a few thousand years in the nineteen fifties, sixties. Yeah, yeah, sixties. I'll nerd yeah. out on this one. So they had the Butlerian Jihad. We also just saw Dune too, like. Two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in a, in a time period there, they wiped out all computers because AI started taking over. And so that's why in Dune, they have the guys that like, I don't know if you remember Dune one where the guy, he rolls his eyes in the back of his head, yeah. the, the Mentats. So they have human computers now because they cannot, they, they just don't have computers in that future. So they eliminated computers and just hired Asians. Basically. Abacuses yeah. and everything, brother. <laughs> yeah, <they're> <laughs> 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 doing math. <laughs> <laughs> Reading the future. Ones and zeros. I got it. 